I wonder why we have the flatbed on the dually. Hmm. Wow. She's filthy. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, uh, we got old blue. You know, the snow's melting. It's getting warm out. You know, your, bo your blood's just boiling. You know, go outside. Go stir up the world. But uh, I'm gonna load her up on the trailer and bring it home. I store her in town because it does not go on gravel. Um, because I totally redid this truck. I'll talk about it more when I get home here, but uh, let's see if she'll start and we'll bring it home here and uh, we'll talk about it and get her all spiffed up and looking clean and we got some mods to do to this thing. She is alive! So here's my truck, um, it's a 1977 Ford F-150 Ranger, I think it was three years ago, four years ago, um, me and my grandpa, originally we just pulled the motor and we were going to put a new motor in it and I was going to do it as just a, you know, put a new motor in it and drive it around and be kind of a cool old farm truck, whatever. And then once we got the motor out, it turned into taking the box off so I could paint the frame just to make the paint, frame so it didn't rust. And then it led from there. Soon it was just nothing but the frame. We sandblasted the whole thing down. And then uh, I think we started putting it together. And then my grandpa was diagnosed with uh, stage 3 or stage 4 brain cancer. And uh, he never really got to help me finish the truck. When I first got the truck, the box had some rust right here. So we tore the whole um, box side off. And we put a whole new sleeve. Uh, or, I don't mean to call it skin. I think it's what they're called. Put a whole new skin on it. And then we did the corners because they were getting thin. And then there was a little rust in the doors that we did a little work there, so we did that. And so once all the body work was done, we brought it to a guy in our near town. He did all the painting for me. I know some people don't like the wheels because <clears throat> it's not the old Ford classic wheels, but those are 22 by 12 uh, RB, RBP Glocks. On um, Those are, what are those? Toyo MTs, those are 35 by 22 by 12 and a half tires. All the, the um, chrome on the sides, that is stock, actually, because when I was building this truck, I was like, oh, I should order that right away just in case it goes out of stock. Well, you know what I didn't do? I didn't order it right away, and guess what happened? Went out of stock, couldn't find it anywhere. I could find bits and pieces, but I didn't want to put one new piece of chrome on there, and then uh, the other piece was um, old, so it just looked really weird, so I didn't really do that. All new uh, Ford on the back and all this, uh, new bumper. I have not yet done the box. I'm waiting to do that. I don't... I don't know if I want to bedline it black or if I want to try to get it color matched to the same color. I haven't really decided on what I want to do there yet, but that does need to be done because it looks terrible. All new mirrors, new uh, emblems, um, new antenna. Got to be able to catch some radio stations. When I bought the truck, it had a 351 Big Block Cleveland. And when I was on a bachelor party for my cousin, uh, we were talking about motors. And he's like, hey, my friend's got one for sale. I'm like, no way. So we went up there and actually I bought the motor. Um, so I have like 1600 bucks in the motor and it's got a four barrel um, Edelbrock carburetor on it. Um, nothing really fancy under here. I want to spiff it up, put some chrome valve covers on it and then clean up my wires a little bit. I'm trying to, I don't know, spiff it up a little bit, make it look more like a show truck. And if you know anyone that knows how to paint something cool, I really want to do something, really something cool up here on the uh, where this black is like a graphics like i don't know some graffiti thing i feel like it just looks sweet so hit in here in the interior this is all redone it's got a tint on it not very dark we got an aftermarket steering wheel i got the bluetooth radio kind of expensive not gonna lie it's like 400 bucks for that but then you can jam out to bluetooth in your own music and you're not listening to am so totally worth it and new carpet i think i'm gonna pull that out though and i'm gonna put sound deafening down because it's pretty loud in here with the big tires and the motor and everything so I want to put sound deafening in here and new seat. I want to put like a, a leather seat deal in here. It's pretty sweet. You guys will see it. I'm going to order one soon. So yeah, that's kind of the rundown of my truck. I'm trying to think if I missed anything. The only thing that's really stock is the frame. The body's original, but it's all been redone. And then the motor's different, radiator's different. Um, basically the interior's all the frame except for the seat and the bezel and stuff like that new, new gas tank because that was just, that was shot. Pretty down here. Got the big tires on it. 
I'm thinking about selling these tires because one, these make a lot of road noise and they pick up rocks and it doesn't even touch gravel and I get rock chips. So, you know, that's not a very cool thing on a, you know, an old vehicle that you put a lot of money into, especially when it's uh, your grandpa's or, you know, just a relative of yours that uh, has something in your heart, I guess, that means something to you. But I guess we can talk about some of the future plans I want to do to this here before I can start driving it. I need new ball joints in the front. And then uh, on the exhaust, I want to put electric cutouts on it. We're going to put sound deafening under the carpet. And what else was there? Oh, we're putting wheel ring lights in the, the wheels. I have them, but I haven't figured out how to install them yet. Kind of dread working on this thing because it's so tedious and you want it to look perfect. It's so tough. To you guys, this truck looks perfect. But to me, I know it's not because I know every single flaw about it because I did it. A lot of the work or I was with the person that did the work to the truck. That's sitting all winter and look at that paint job. Shiny. It's like a mirror. If you're wanting to do this color, super expensive, I'll tell you that. I don't know, maybe it's not expensive, but for me, I thought it was terribly expensive. I think it's 1200 bucks for a gallon of paint for this thing. And that's not including your clear, your hardener, whatever. I don't know all the paint, but at the end, at the end of the day, totally worth it. I mean, it looks great. You can kind of see this, sorry, I was looking at my phone. The sparkle in it, that's the metallic in it. It looks awesome. I love it. It kicks off a conversation with a lot of people, especially the older people um, that had them in high school or even people that are a few years older than you. They're just super stoked about seeing the truck. It's cool to see old vehicles that run around and uh, still drive. Pretty cool to own something that my dad uh, basically drove. Um, he owned a 78, this is a 77. So I mean, basically the same thing, just a couple little different things here and there. But uh, so yeah, here's my truck. Probably gonna pull this in. And I gotta go to town, I gotta help my girlfriend's dad uh, tear out a floor. He paid me, paid me a hundred bucks to tear out a floor. Are you kidding me? I'm not gonna take that up. So I gotta go help him do that. Basically everything on here has been redone that I can think of, unless I'm thinking of something that I don't know, like usual, because I don't remember anything. My teachers think anyways. My teachers don't like me, but uh, what do you do? They try to teach you things that you don't wanna learn or don't care to learn, and so, Sometimes it's just hard for me to pay attention in school. So, you know, what do you do? What do you do? The, a lot of teachers will tell you, you have to have A's and B's to graduate, be successful, and, you know, go out there. You have to go to college to make money. And, you know, I, I'm totally against that. Like, I'm a CD student, and here I have a beautiful truck. I have my other truck. Um, I work with my dad great. Um, you know, I'm doing good. I have my hay business, and here I have a CD degree. I mean, I have C's and D's, and I'm doing just fine. You don't have to get A's and B's to, you know, succeed in life and go to college and spend 100 grand on tuition and whatever like that. So, if you guys think you have to go to college and your teachers are filling you full of that bull crap, don't believe them. I don't know where this rant came from, but you got it. All right, let's pull this thing inside. Oh, but duh. Turn the blind off here so you don't get copyrighted. I need to uh, put my shifter thing back on here so I know what gear I'm in, but you don't need that. And we take it out of storage and we got a light out there. Lights work back here. Light out there. Here. Well, no, that one's good. And there. Come on. Now I gotta pull it out and back it in and then drive it out so I can do a TikTok. Yeah, I have TikTok, go check me out. It's called magic underscore bullet. I gotta go tear out a floor, I already told you this, but I'm gonna say it again, because I want to. So I'm heading out, thanks for watching once again, and uh, make sure you subscribe, do whatever, do the like, do the hit, do the smack, do the comment, do whatever. Go follow me on TikTok. All right, I'm heading out, I'm going, I'm leaving. Thanks for watching, here she is. I'm gonna start ordering stuff. If you have any recommendations on what I should get for exhaust cutouts or wheel ring lights or underglows, comment because the underglows I have now don't really work. And I've hit up the company and they're like, oh, just watch the tutorial video on how to install them. Well, guess what? I think I know how to put in screws and wire it to the battery. It's a red and hot, can't be that hard. Well, guess what? They don't work. So I'm sick of it. Give me ideas in the comments. See you guys.